The Glasgow Coma Scale and cranial nerves are crucial components of a neuroassessment. GCS, or Glasgow Coma Score, uh, scores range from a low of 3 for a comatose patient to a high of 15 for alert-oriented patients like you and I. The scale gets confusing when, pa confusing when patients who require noxious stimuli to elicit a response. Motor response is the most powerful predictor of a patient's outcome, so it's important that stimuli is applied centrally. Or spinal reflexes may be misinterpreted for localization or withdrawal. Let's say we apply a trapezius squeeze to our obtunded patient. That's where you squeeze really, really deep right here, which caused the patient to roll to their side. This is considered true withdrawal. Flexion is decorticate posturing, where their arms come in like this, pulling toward the core. I always, the decor, C-O-R, makes me think of spinal cord, so they're gonna pull in towards their core. And extension is decerebrate prostrating, where they're going to go like this. These are imminent signs for a patient. I mean, this is, this is not good news for our patient when they come in and we, we see this type of posturing. But if that same patient tried to push our hand away, that is a much better response as considered localization. So imagine we, we elicit a noxious stimuli and they push us away. They know what's going on and they can feel it and they know where the pain's coming from. If they just pull in, I mean, that's, that's a very bad sign. The best way to memorize cranial nerve names is to use a mnemonic. There's multiple mnemonics out there that you can use. It's also crucial to learn their functions, which starts with memorizing which pairs are sensory nerves, which are motor, and which are a combination of both. Almost all 12 pairs are tested during a thorough neurological assessment. They're all part of the peripheral nervous system except cranial nerve number two. Another noteworthy exception is the vagus nerve which is the longest nerve and has the largest amount of unique functions, including digestion, heart rate regulation, and blood pressure. If you're gonna learn anything about the nervous system, one of the most important things to learn is about the vagus nerve and how it works. In